Myron's and Brian Cosby's provide and protect. And in a recent video, I posted about this Tiger Outdoors. This is the Dry Shield uh, Faraday pouch, Faraday bag. And I went over why you might want to have a Faraday bag and uh, not only for keeping yourself uh, safe from hackers, uh, but also trackers and also EMP attacks. Well, today what I'm gonna do is test this out and put this through a series of tests and see how it actually uh, performs. So let's get into it. All right, so I wanna say from the get-go here that it does not uh, prevent all types of frequencies out there. And I've already tested this to some degree and this is just an honest review and that's why I'm sharing this with you guys. But if you had these like normal kind of walkie talkies like these or the DeWalt ones that I've used to, uh, in other videos, then it's not gonna prevent all of this. And when I say that, or those, the signals from these, that if I put one of these, turn these on and put one of these into the pouch and roll it up and zip it up, then you can still hear uh, when I push this push to talk little beep and, t and talking. You can still hear that with certain frequencies like these walkie talkies, these UHF uh, frequencies. So note that. So um, they don't prevent every single kind of transmission or uh, receiving of, of, you know, on these frequencies uh, for two-way radios, but it does do a broad range of things. And so I do have a few other things here uh, today. Uh, and one of them is like something like this. So I'm going to just turn on this onto a um, FM channel just to show you this. So, here we go. So it's it's on. And what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you hear that. So got this long antenna. So I put a nicer antenna on here. I'm going to put this whole thing in the bag while it's on. And if the signal is blocked, it'll just go to static. That's what you'll hear. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. I'm gonna turn the volume up so you can still hear. You still hear that? Okay. All right. You get you get some uh, good feed uh, advertisement, whoever that is. All right. So I've got that in there now, and I'm going to do this. Again, it's got that really good antenna on there. And once I get this into the bag here and zipped up, all I hear now is static. Hear that? It's just static. So it did block, it did block uh, FM radio. So there's one test, another test. Insurance or not. So, so, the there's, a, prescription. so okay. there's a that went really loud. Uh, so there's the FM. Uh, another thing is like a one of these air tags. So this it also blocks air tags. So uh, I'm going to show you this. Um, I'm actually going to get on my phone, uh, which is being, which is I'm using for recording. I'm going to put this into the bag, and then I'm going to show you that it blocks it. All right. So I got my phone, got the air tag, and just to show how this works. I'll put the screen here on the side of my phone, but if I open my phone up, find my searching for signal here. All right, it's saying right next to me. <laughs> okay, so if I move this away, three feet, four feet, you can see that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the Faraday bag. And I will roll it up as we've done with everything else. Put this in here. And that, I'm not going to zip it up. I'm just going to kind of see if this signal, searching for signal. See that? It's, uh, it's, it's just searching. So uh, that works. So it does prevent air tags. All right, so the next uh, test that we need to do is with Bluetooth. And this is supposed to block Bluetooth as well. And the only way I know how to do that is I've got a phone and a Bluetooth speaker. And so I'm gonna start some music. Put this in here to the bottom. And I'm gonna start rolling this up. Now I'm still gonna kind of play a little bit until it's all the way into the Faraday bag. 
but it's already breaking up as you can as you can hear. So we'll go ahead and get this into the Faraday bag. And then once it's in here, it stops. So that's pretty cool. So it does stop the Bluetooth. All right, so another test that we wanna do is about key fobs. Uh, obviously these have a signal on them. So, uh, and show you how this works uh, with this vehicle, I can lock it and then uh, I can push and hold this. And it starts. So I don't know if you can see that, but it just started. All right, so I just turned that off. Um, so to show you how this works, again, I can do this. You can see the lights coming on and but if I just put my hand in the bag on that, on that lock button, and I'm gonna press the lock button right here, it doesn't work. And I can't, I wanna, I'm gonna push, I wanna push the, uh, the start button here, and it doesn't come on. So this will definitely block a, uh, a key fob. All right, so for the final test of this bag, uh, it's also a dry bag. So I'm going to test that part out too. It's not just Faraday bag, but also dry bag. So got a, uh, a radio here, Midland radio. I'm just going to throw this down into the bag. And then I am going to snap this up. And then this outer zipper... Uh, is kind of a one of those kind of dry zippers, or you call it. Um, it's kind of waterproof, kind of dry bag zippers. So let's go ahead and zip this up. Like that. And let's see. <laughs> Hopefully my radio doesn't go bad uh, in the water. So we got some water here. And we're going to submerge this both sides. I'm going to push the air out of it too. Just to make sure. Actually, I'm going to come in down here just a little bit more, a little bit deeper water. Just going to hold it under for a minute. See what happens. All right, that zipper is fully in the water there. All right. Let's see here. Oh, come over here. And there is no, oh, it's perfectly dry in there. Yeah, it's perfectly dry in there. So good job on that. Good job on that. Um, so that, that, that does work, uh, by the way. So uh, anyway, I mean, that, and that's submerging it. So it's going to probably have some air in it. And so if you are out on the lake and it falls in the water, it's probably going to float and grab it. I don't know, but depending on what you have in it, but uh, probably going to float if it has some air in it. Um, Anyway, so yeah, good job. Good job on that. Well, guys, I hope this has been helpful for you today uh, as we've kind of tested uh, this bag out. And like I said, uh, some of those UHF uh, frequencies, uh, it'll still pick up even though when you put one of those UHF frequencies in here, um, even though it'll still transmit, receive uh, from the bag, um, it is broken up at least. So that is true. But all the other stuff that we tested, it works just fine. Uh, here today. So hope it's been helpful for you. And if you've not already done so, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate you and your support. We'll see you on the next video.